Hi everyone, it's your girl July and today I'll be showing you the newest bag in my handbag collection and it is the Ombre Coach Pillow Tabby Bag in Pistachio. So I originally saw this bag on an Instagram ad and I called my nearest coach store and I actually reserved the last one that they had in store and they told me when I came in that they weren't planning on restocking so I felt super lucky. Obviously, I was just blown away by the colors. Um, they're so beautiful, um, but I did have to think about the bag overnight and make my decision about it because it was final sale and this bag would be the most expensive purse that I own with the least functionality. So that was something that I had to um, contemplate but obviously because i'm making this video i did end up pulling the trigger the next day and buying it uh so without further ado i will show you the bag and then i will share with you my thoughts on the bag and uh, what i like and dislike about it so um here is the packaging now this bag was originally um about $630 Canadian with tax and I purchased it for $310 so let's just open her up eee. so um, let's talk about the things that I love about this bag Obviously, the colors are gorgeous. I am such a sucker for pastel, pinks, blues, and greens, so this really like checked off all my boxes. I'm also um, a silver girl. I, as you can see, I love silver colors, and it's actually taken me a long time to open up to gold. Over these last couple years, I started to uh, purchase bags that have gold hardware and buy gold jewelry, but before that, I'm just like a huge fan of uh, silver. So uh, the next thing that I absolutely love about this bag is that it has a top handle and it has this beautiful crossbody strap. So let's just take a look at these colors. They are so gorgeous. Let's just take a look at that. Oops. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Very nice. Uh, so I will show you what the bag looks like with the crossbody strap in a moment. Um, let me just move this leaf. <laughs> no! Stop! Hold on one second, you guys. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. The next thing that I love about this bag is that it has a pink leather interior and I'm such a sucker for pink. And the fact that it's leather inside means that if you did have a lipstick that opened up in the bag, you'd probably be able to wipe it away with a baby wipe. So that's also really good. Um, and obviously I love that it is squishy and lately I've been so into bags that have quilting and that have squishy qualities and like look at her she looks like a piece of taffy my little Laffy Taffy bag <laughs> so uh, the last thing that I really love about this bag is that it has a magnetic closure now, I'm not a huge fan of uh, bags that have a flap because I feel that it's kind of inconvenient that you have to like lift the flap with one hand and then like rummage through the bag to get whatever you need from it. I much prefer a zipper, it feels more secure and it um, is just less hassle. But again, she was so cute, I couldn't resist. And now that we've outlined the things that I love about this bag, let's talk about the cons of this bag because there are there are a few, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, so the first thing that comes to mind is 
the coating slash treatment of the calf skin leather. If you've ever seen or touched the original pillow tabby bags, you will know that it has this very like smooth quality to the leather and the way that this leather has been treated seems to have sort of like a transparent coating uh, that creates sort of this like pooling whenever you touch the leather or when you lift uh, the flap. I'll show you uh, sort of like close-ups later if you can't see it right now, but uh, that's something that seems to be a vulnerability about this bag. The next thing is that the hardware and the leather in the strap kind of create a squeaky sound. I don't know if you've noticed, but if that's something that would annoy you, <laughs> it could definitely deter you from purchasing the bag. Um, and the next thing that could deter you from purchasing this bag is that it is not very spacious. It will only fit your essentials. So for me, it fits my iPhone 6S right here at the back and a card holder right here at the front and your keys right here. And hopefully you don't have as many keys <laughs> as I do. Um, but yeah, it hardly has room even for a lipstick, but if you really wanted to, you could probably squeeze in a lip gloss or a lipstick. Let's try to close that. There we go. So, um, the next thing is that you have to be really careful with this bag in the way that you store it. And I was also told in store not to have creams or perfumes be in contact with the bag because that could affect the leather quality. Uh, and lastly, I say that the con to this bag is that the top handle does not go on your shoulder. Like it doesn't, it can't fit on your shoulder. There's not enough room. And I really love bags that can go over your shoulder. Obviously the cross body strap kind of, um, makes up for that, but it would be nice if the top handle was like a little bit longer, had more of a drop length so that you could wear it um, underneath your arm. So let me just show you guys what the crossbody strap looks like. It is so cute. And also, I love that the tab here is squishy. It's so adorable. This is what she looks like. Here is a closer look at the crossbody strap. The colors are so vibrant and transition so beautifully into each other. I love the gradient because you get such a vast spectrum of colors, unlike most bags that stick to just one. I'm wrapping it more tightly so you can get a better idea of what I mean, but just wow, I am obsessed. Here is the creasing and pooling of the leather that I was talking about earlier. Whenever you touch it or lift the bag's flap, you can see the texture of the material changing. So if you don't mind babying the bag and taking extra precaution to ensure its longevity, I think it is such a beautiful and unique bag to have in your collection. It just looks so yummy and reminds me of unicorns or candy. As you can tell, I am really excited about owning this beauty. The final con of this bag is that if you have seen Pillow Tabby bags before, you will know that they are notorious for getting these uh, two creases above the C and that almost deterred me from getting the bag, but I just felt so compelled to get it because of all its other good qualities. So um, if you love this bag or if you don't like this bag, let me know in the comments. And what would you style with it? Would you wear neutrals or would you just be a rainbow? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.